Sir, could you tell us your name and where you are originally from, so that people will know this is a church of different countries. Um, my name is Neil Samuel. I am from Botswana. Awesome. Our sister is from Botswana. So could you please tell us the wonderful testimony so that we will partake of that? Um, um, first of all, I would like to say, um, I would like to thank my God and I would like to say thank you, Mama, thank you, Papa. I greet you, the congregation, in the name of Jesus. Um, what I want to say right now is I'm going to tell you uh, the wonders of God, um, what God has done for me, what God has done for me in my life. Um, it's a good God. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a God of all of us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So could you go ahead and go straight to the point, what specifically God has done for you? Um, God has done a lot in my life, children of God. God has changed me. God has transformed me. He has made me a different person. Before I used to be, those who know me everywhere, here and back in my country, they don't believe when I, I told them that God has changed me. God has, 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 has really, I used to be, I don't know how to put it rightly, I don't know how to, to put it, but I'll just say I used to be a nuisance. For someone to say that, that she used to be a nuisance, but now she's a different person. That is a 360 degree turnaround. So let's hear more. I used to be, I used to be a nuisance. I used to be, I felt God who brought me in this country. I said, God, you are wonderful. I thank you for bringing me in Canada to come and change my life, to come and change the way I was living, to come and change um, my, my, my lifestyle. You know, I mean, those who know me, right? Um, what I can say is, every action you take, every action you make, it's a seed you sow. And every seed that you sow is the harvest that you're going to harvest. Um, don't think uh, God can be mocked or anyhow. In Galatians 6, verse 7 to 8, it tells you that, you can't mock God. You can't mock God. And whatever you do, don't think God is not looking at you. God is looking at you. But in John, in, in, in John 1, verse 4 to 4, tells you that the one who is inside you is greater than everything. So I had God with me inside, but the devil was using me. The devil was really, really... I don't know how to say it, my sister. Sister, could you tell us, like, I know you said God has really changed you, but for the viewers and everyone to understand what God has really done for you, can you give us two instances of what you used to do and how God transformed you to a different person? We just want to know the differences between who you were and who you are now. Give us two instances. Thank you. I'm not going to hide anything, my sister. Because I want to help those who are looking at me. I want to help those who are in the world. I want to help even those who are back home. That God can transform you. God can change you. I used to sleep around with different kinds of men. I used to, I mean, I used to sleep around like four, five men in a day. That was the devil burying our body at that time. I used to, you know, I used to, I used to, I, I don't know, the devil used to give me that strength. I wouldn't say that was the strength from God. That was the strength from the devil to use me. Don't forget that the devil is here to tear you apart. The devil is here to destroy your life. The devil is here to, 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 to do anything that, you know, I, I don't know how to say this, but what I can tell you is the devil is alive. The devil is alive, and the devil lives, and he can destroy you. He can destroy you. He can destroy me. 
So right now, would you see you, you still do that kind of life? I believe. Wait, my sister, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, I'm still here. Um, you know, uh, what I can say right now is I will thank you, God, every day. I will, thank, I will thank my God every day. I will thank my spiritual father. I will thank my spiritual man for the past 33 years of my life. I started having a baby when I was 15 years old. I started being sexually into, what, what do you call it? <laughs> sexually into when I was 15 years old. And for the past uh, 33 years old, I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I was, I was, those who are watching me, not here. I'm not helping you here only, but I'm helping people who are outside. Who think this is, the, who, who are just keeping it thinking that they are alone in that situation? No, we were many. I was there, I passed through that. Whether you will be sleeping with a man, and from there you will be sleeping with another man, drinking, smoking, all kinds of things that you can think of. All kinds of things that you can think of. <laughs> oh, that is good. Amen. People of God, when the Lord wants to transform you, with people that don't know her, before and they see her now, they will say she's a good girl. The Lord has really transformed her. Amen. But now she's the one saying all these things of what she used to do in the past. That is to say you right now. She's not saying this just for people to look at her and feel sorry. No. She's saying this testimony so that she could put the devil to shame. To say enough is enough. Right now I know the Lord and the Lord has transformed me. To know. So when you were doing all this kind of stuff, how did you know about this place? Where were you coming from? I'm still here. Um, I'm still here. Um, I was coming from Toronto. I was living in Toronto. So who introduced you to this church? Um, a, a, a friend of mine, she's not here today, uh, I'm ashamed. She's not here. But she introduced me to this church. She introduced me to my papa. She brought me here to my father. And by that time, I was, I, I was, I was tired. I, I was really, really tired. I remember I came the first time. I went back, but I was tired. This, I came the first time. I went back. Uh, I was into this. I went to, I was into another church, but. I was doing the same thing. You say that when you came to this church, you went back to your old life again. So how, when you now come back again the second time, how did you now finally decide to settle here and you want to know that part? Because there is God here. There is God of restoration. There is God that changes you here in this house. Are you saying that when you come to this house, the God of this house will arrest you and keep you down and transform your life? Is that what you're saying? The God of this house didn't give me a chance. Amen. The God of this house didn't give me a chance. He just took me straight away and Tell you that. arrested me. <laughs> so that's a good thing. So you're trying to say that ever since you have been in this house right now, what would you say are the changes that you've been experiencing in your life? Right now, I have changed a lot. I have changed a lot. I'm no longer smoking. I'm no, I'm no longer drinking. I'm no longer sleeping around. I have seen fully my life to see me like this friend.
your testimony. We love it. We know that God is here and we know that God has transformed your life. What is your heart advice right now? Because there might be someone out there going through exactly the same thing that you had gone through in the past. What kind of advice can you give to them so that their life too can be changed? First of all, I would like to say um, I can give people advice that they should seek God. They should seek God, the God that uh, we are talking about, it's a holy God. It's not God because you are going to church. It's not God because, no, 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 no. I mean, you have to be, in short, the God that we are in is a holy God. The God that we are in, we are living for, it's a holy God. Wait in the Lord. Wait in the Lord faithfully. Wait in the Lord. Don't say I'm waiting in the Lord, the next day I find you sleeping around or, or smoking on the corner and say, I'm still waiting on the Lord. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't wait in the Lord. Amen, amen. That's what I can say. Wait in the Lord. You can make it. You cannot sleep around. You can make it. If you are in a really, really, really good, you can make it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.